Hi folks, hope you're okay today, it's good to see you. So we're looking at this book, and it's The Resurrection of Jesus by Mike, Mike Ona. And uh, hopefully we can get a bit of light in here for you, okay? So it's Mike like Ona. So we'll move on the book. He talks about what is truth, page 89. In the light of postmodern challenge, realist historians must revisit the foundation of their views, including the nature of truth itself. The view that enjoys the greatest acceptance in the correspondence theory of truth. We perceive the world directly through our senses for our dis descriptions of the world around us to be true. They must correspond to its conditions. In as far as our description achieve this correspondence, they reflect truth. The correspondence theory of tr truth is channeled by a number of factors. Our perceptions and interpretations of our world are influenced by our culture, interests and, in short, our horizons. These interpretations are separate from the uninterrupted data and to some extent cannot be said to reflect the past. Moreover, our perceptions do not mirror reality precisely. They are the result of our mechanical senses which can malfunction or misinterpret. For example, a young child riding in a car or on a sunny day may see what appears to be water on the road ahead. His limited knowledge leads him to believe that the road ahead is wet. An older child has a basic understanding of a mirage and interprets what she sees differently than the younger child. Perceptions involved interpretations based on the horizons of the subject author. When a witness says, says that such and such happened, her conclusion is founded on horizons laden perceptions. A historian has her own horizons which reports are marinated and then interpreted. Moreover, there is no way of proving that our senses accurately depict reality to us. Nevertheless, we all assume that our sense provide at least a relatively accurate picture of data. So, what um, Lycona is doing there is talking about what is truth. And um, he's taking um, a particular understanding, this coherence and this correspondence theory of truth. And... Um, you know, when we're looking at history, when we're examining historical facts about Jesus, you've got to ask the question, what is truth from your perspective? Um, and if you don't answer that question, you're not really intellectually equipped to deal with the answer, the questions of, did Jesus Christ rise from the dead? Um, I believe that truth is what correspondence corresponds to reality. Um, and I can justify that intellectually. If you take that position, you've got to be willing to be able to defend that position epistemologi epistemologically. Okay?